I'm here with the director and stars of the film The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro, Michael Shannon, Doug Jones, and Richard Jenkins. Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> you all here. I love this film and I will never look at boiled eggs the same way again. <laughs> yeah. What was the pitch? You've got Mute janitor falls in love with yeah. amphibian monster from yeah, the yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Throw in some River Russian God. spies. Uh, River God. River God. Yes. I, I, how do you convince Hollywood that this is something that they should bet their money on? You know, I've, I've done it the wrong way, which mm -hmm. is I go and, and, and pitch and then get financed eventually to create the, the visuals. And what I did here is spend a couple of years developing the visuals on my own money. And then when I pitched it, uh, they had the main sets already designed, mm -hmm. the creature mostly designed, you know? And, and they could see, because when you say, this is a love story, and you say, an amphibian god, you, they go, hmm. But if, the, if you show them what it looks like, what, how beautiful a creature it is, then and that and the beauty of the picture in the key keyframes, they, they, they said yes. The beautiful thing of the pitch is when I finished pitching it, the story from A to Z, and show them pages, they were crying. Really? And, and that's, that's a good signal. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, Doug, what was your initial reaction to the premise? Because on the surface, it does sound a little out there. And I know you all have worked together since the late 90s, so you have a sense of how his mind works. Only on, outer, uh, only on out there movies. Oh, <laughs> only on, on out, out there movies. Right. So, so this, this did not sound preposterous to me <laughs> in the least. Right. Uh, knowing that it, that it was going to be uh, Guillermo uh, at the helm of this movie, the, the plots was like, oh, that, I can see this being a gorgeous piece of work. Uh, especially when he, when he told me that I'm going to be the romantic leading man of the movie. It's like, well, that's going to be a great movie then. <laughs> Who wouldn't want this? <laughs> but um, but, uh, but as, as, a, as a fish man from, from, the, uh, from the Amazon, uh, that, that, uh, that ups the stakes a bit, yeah. Michael, your uh, character is a, a scripture-quoting sadist <laughs> who is considered the villain of this film, but I've read some interviews where you said that he's not necessarily a villain. You could actually see him through the prism of being a victim. Well, I don't know. I don't like any of the V words. Uh, victim, <laughs> villain, any any word that begins with V. I'm not okay. a big fan of it. Vegan. Um, vegan. vegan. I don't like vegans. <laughs> veterinarian. Veal. <laughs> you don't like veal. It's a veterinarian caused me... He cost me, he charged me four grand to get the <laughs> ribbon out of my cat's intestines. So, um, okay. I'm just not a fan of uh, V. Okay. V words. But what about B words? He's a bully. A bully, yeah, yeah, yeah he's a bully. A B, yeah. B? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's Strickland. He's a colonel. I don't know. He's in the army. I mean, they're. He likes a cattle prod. They're tough sons, sons of. You know, whatever. I can't oh, well, another bee yes. word. Yeah, another yeah, yeah. bee word. Yeah. Um, Sons of bees. <laughs> Sons of bees. I mean, he's just, you know, he's doing his job. I mean, there's, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there may be other individuals on Earth similar to Strickland. Uh, <laughs> right now. Yeah. Your character's relationship with Eliza is just, it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they don't need a language. They can communicate in a way that others simply can't. How special was that for you, playing a character and seeing that, that relationship? It was, uh, it was amazing. And it, it, but you, you have, first thing you have to go to is Sally Hawkins. Mm -hmm. She's extraordinary. Yeah, she's extraordinary. And, and, and the thing about her is, um, you watch her in this movie, you, you know her. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's who she is. I mean, mm -hmm. she's, she's that giving and open and... and um, uh, we became dear friends as as I think she I think Michael scared her to death. But uh, um. <laughs> no, we were friends. She kept giving my kids presents. Right. Guillermo, you've been working on this script for the better part of six years. Did you have any idea that it would be this relevant right now? That it would. Well, I think if you belong to any minority, this thing has been <laughs> brewing for decades. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's not like it was not that way before. It right. is. The fact that it's at a different level of discussion, at a different level of visibility, is you know when you when, when you see the tumor, it's not when you got the cancer, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we are in 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 a terrible path of being divided into a very abstract us and them. We can hate faster now than I think at any time in on on, on the human history. Mm -hmm. Hate faster and wider, and in the more total. Uh, not listening way, not looking way. 
So the movie is about listening and looking and about love because that's what is really urgent that we say, do not fear the other. Do not believe the ideologies that they're feeding you to reduce a person to one word. See the other person. Yeah. Listen. You know, because the antidote to hatred is understanding. Mm. Simple. But, but it's very hard for us to do it, you know? Yeah. Those are the words I like, the L words. <laughs> Listen, love. 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 Yeah, listen. Yes, yes. Yeah. Listen. Latke. Yeah. Latte. 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 <laughs> Lola. 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 There you go. Yes. Yes. See? Yes. yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for being here. We like it. Yeah, I love it. Um, the Shape of Water is in theaters now. Go see it.